Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. This is a tag. This is the Amigurumi book tag. So I'm going to show you all of my Amigurumi books and then I'm going to admit how many I haven't used yet. Um, I've got a few different things. I am including some of the supplements from magazines that I I have because I specifically bought the magazine for the Amigurumi supplement. Um, I haven't included all the other magazines that I bought specifically because I wanted an Amigurumi pattern that was in the magazine because um, we'd be here forever. So I have included yeah four supplements, two um, bookazines or something they call them, um, which are special edition magazines on Amigurumi, and then I think there are sixteen Amigurumi books. Um, I have noticed that some of them I have in common with. I saw uh, Terry and Yarnjoy podcast. I saw her one, and so it's quite similar. Some of some of them are similar. Some of them are not. But, so I'm going to start off with this one, which was simply crochet and a groomy, and it's Australian. Australian ones. It's a crocodile, a kangaroo, and a koala, and a little. Banjo the swag man down there. So there's that one. I have not made those. Any of those. Then I got this one because oh my goodness, I like the chameleon and also like the platypus and the turtle and ridiculous. I know there's there's 12 patterns in this one. It's simply crochet endangered animals. And look at that butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? So and there's a big giant snail. I think that's a frog and a fox. What is that? A red panda. Probably a red panda because I don't think foxes are endangered. Oh four. Yeah, it's a red panda. And then I don't know what that one is. And there's a little penguin and some sort of bird. Turtle. What's that? Isn't that cute? And I haven't made a single thing out of that one either. And do they have the dates on them? Some of these would be embarrassing how long ago I bought these. No. Anyhow. And then this one, my daughter loves otters. Well, she used to. I'm not sure if she still does. But I saw this and I had to get it. Look at those otters. Aren't they gorgeous? This is Crochet Amigurumi, Amigurumi the cutest crochet toy. So, hook. it has 18 patterns. So, it has the otters and then you see down there different things and then up there it's an ice cream doll and this is from Simply Crochet magazine look at that fox isn't he cute but no I haven't done any of those either actually I tried because the page is marked I tried to make one of these, um, Bunny Bear Kitty, it's um, like a rag doll style, mine looks, oh uh, here is a better picture, I did, I did attempt this, it looked like roadkill, so it got thrown away, so I haven't completed it, but I did actually try to make something out of this, so that's actually, does it count if it's not a completed object, but I did try, so I have put that one aside because I have used that one even if it wasn't finished I'm counting it um and this one I mean I got this one specifically because it was Peter Rabbit isn't that cute and Jemima Puddle Duck and because I have a Jemima in the family and I was going to make her Jemima Puddle Duck but I haven't got that far yet all sort no process um and I love hedgehogs Mrs Tiggy Winkle She's so cute, and that's Benjamin Bunny. Aren't these gorgeous? And no, haven't made a single one of those. Next, this is um, the Amigurumi collection from the makers of. Um, is it some? No, Inside Crochet. And there are 33 patterns in this one. And there's more on the bag. 
little chicky. There's some, I can't remember which specific one I might have wanted out of this one. So there's some good ones. Probably there's a couple of elephants in there and I love elephants so that could be why I got that one. But I have not made a single thing out of that. Next it's um, Amigurumi for Beginners. I thought yay I'll try there because my Amigurumi skills are not fantastic but I've made nothing out of that either. There's some cute cute little oh they're dinosaurs that's what I want why I wanted this one let's see if I can get it is there one of all of them dinosaurs it's a triceratops a t-rex and a, is it a diplodocus a stegosaurus stegosaurus a t-rex and a triceratops yeah okay it's a ste stegosaurus i don't know my dinosaurs this one i bought reduced to clear for three dollars at spotlight it is a leisure arts so it's cute little animals i thought it looked really simple and i surely couldn't get that wrong and i haven't done a single one out of that next zoomagurumi 4 i saw that terry has this one um I really like the patterns in here. I wanted to do the seahorse, but also the little reindeer. Let me show you the little reindeer dude. He's super cute. Um, Toru. Toru the reindeer. Oh, light. Light is terrible. Isn't that cute? Oh, don't look at the pattern. Sorry. Don't look at the pattern. Um, there's a picture on the back but it's not very good reindeer the bee frog I like the seahorse too and I love giraffes so. but no I haven't made a single thing out of them um, this one is just called Amigurumi has a selection of patterns they all look fairly simple and no, I have not made a single thing out of that either. Super cute crochet by Nikki Trench. Not made anything out of that either. Ami Ami Dogs by Mitsuki Hoshi. Aren't they cute? Look at these guys. Oh, they are adorable and no not a single thing out of here either this one has lots of pictures lots of look at these poppies aren't they cute um <laughs> look oh that's a Maltese they have a Labrador a Siberian Husky Cavalier King Charles Spaniel hang on a pug and a French bulldog, a schnauzer, beagle, dachshund, corgi, chihuahua. Oh, so cute. Does actually have all the little doggies on there. All the little doggies. And I haven't made a single thing out of that one either. Then I have Cutest Ever Baby Toys by Val Pierce. It's 30, it is knit and crochet in this book. There's both. Um, I wanted to make, I can't remember, I think it was the elephant or the turtle, and I haven't made anything out of that book either, so that's terrible. Then I went to, I bought this a couple of years ago from some big craft hoo-ha I went to in Hamilton, in the event centre, and this is Amigurumi Eats by Alison Hoffman. I thought they were cute. Amigurumi food was really cute. See, like different cookies and ice creams and so cute. Haven't made a single thing. And then at the same time I got this one, which is crochet succulents. I um, included this in the amigurumi section because they are small. They're not like a big a shawl or a blanket or anything. This is by Emma Varnum. 
25 fun easy designs and guess what I haven't made a single one of those either super cute 25 amigurumi animals to make by Annie Oberkan Oberchan Oberkan sorry butchered your name I do apologize I wanted to make the budgies which is why I got this one and guess what I haven't made the budgies I haven't made anything out of here those cute little hamsters and a cute little turtle look at those hamsters Ooh, cuties anyway no I haven't made a single one next huggable crochet by Christine and Lucas no sorry Christine Lucas cute and cuddly animals from around the world and the bigger size look at the size of that kangaroo and that's why I wanted it and I haven't made it I also wanted to make a parrot um wanted to make it like a macaw because we have um when I bought this yeah Flora the macaw we um in the All Blacks rugby team at the time there was a the captain was Richie McCaw and I wanted to make one of those for my son who really liked Richie McCaw and we were going to call it Richie and I never did so and see more the giraffe and yeah great patterns I've just never used it I'm because my amigurumi is terrible I had bought all these books because I wanted to make so much amigurumi I thought I would use up all my little odds and ends of yarn and I just I tried and I failed and I didn't I didn't continue anyway onwards and upwards we go next one magical amigurumi toys by Mary Lise Lily or something like that um, beautiful beautiful patterns in here Look at those bears, aren't they super adorable? When you look at the ones on the back there, gorgeous. And I mean, you can tell, I haven't used this book because it looks brand new. I've had it for a couple of years at least. Look at that. And they're cute. So, I'm quite embarrassed. Uh, next is Tiny Yarn Animals by Tammy Snow looks like I might have used this book but no it's just been um, I think my cat chewed it but that's what happened to that one and I haven't yeah haven't used it these look really simple it's a cute hippo oh look at that I love hippos as well look at the cute little hippo yeah. so. look at the lemur I haven't made a single one of those either. I have cute amigurumi animals, 16 adorable creatures by Eleanor and Maurice. Nope, not made a single one. These ones tend to have a bit of fabric with them as well. Like, look at this hedgehog. It has crocheted little spiny bits, but it also has some fabric ones. Very cute. I mean, I wouldn't suppose you'd have to put the fabric ones in there, you could just do all. All crochet. <laughs> this guy. Look at this guy. Anyway, I haven't done a single one of those. Cute crocheted animals by Emma Varnum. I feel like I've said that before. Oh no, she did the crochet succulents. Okay. And what I like about these ones is they come with a wardrobe. Check that out. Isn't that cute? I don't know. I haven't made any of them. Look at that bunny. It's adorable. With a little granny square bag. And no, I haven't made it. I might just have to. Oh my goodness. Look at all these things. See, I would love to make them. But my reality is I try and I just can't. But I will try again. People like Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast make it look so easy because she makes a beautiful, beautiful amigurumi all the time. So there's a cat, a bear, a fox, a rabbit and a mouse, I think, and then you've got a wardrobe that you can do to personalise them. That is super cute. I'm going to have to do that. And they look quite big. They're not too, too small and fiddly. Um, Hammer Groomy World Seriously Cute Crochet by Anna Paula Ramoli. And yep, not made a single thing out of here either. 
turtle. Elephant. Cactus. Cute little hedgehog. Nope, not made a single thing. And then this one I got for Christmas. Amigurumi Monsters. So the fact that I haven't used this one yet is not a big deal because I just got it. Um adorable patterns and this is by Meteor Books yeah and look on the back humpy cute so I do want to make something out of there but I've looked through the patterns and some of them look like they might be a bit too difficult for, for me who really can't do diddly squat um yeah, amigurumi makes me feel so inadequate as a crocheter. I don't know why. I try. I'm terrible. So, I do have one more book. It is Edward's Menagerie by, I think it's Kerry Lord. But I have lent that to someone. And that is the only book I've actually made something out of that I'm reasonably happy with. And I'll just get them down. Sorry, close up of my nose. Oops! falling he's a bit dusty because he's been up on my shelf but I've made an elephant he's the only thing I've made that doesn't look like roadkill so um yeah I'm quite happy with him except yeah he needs a wash he needs to go in the washing machine so I've actually lent that bo book to my to my boss because she wanted to make a cat for her daughter for Christmas. So that's it. That's my shameful secret of all of these um, amigurumi books, and I can't do amigurumi. It's goals. I would love to, love to do it. So maybe I need to just pick one and give it a go. Which one do you recommend I choose? Any suggestions? Or well, anyone got a nice, simple amigurumi pattern or know of one that I could do that I'm not going to get disheartened and toss my tools and throw a tanty with? Not that I do that, really. Oh, not often. Um, anywho, thanks for joining me. Um, if you want to show... I'd love to see your amigurumi collection of books if, if you've got it. Um, please tag me if you make a video and let me know. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.